Way. Good morning, guys, uh, here in Thailand. Okay, uh, today I'll show you my fixed bail helmets. I got this one last week. I had a text from someone saying, I got a fixed bail helmet for you. I thought, my God, I thought I'd never get one of those in Thailand. So I said, yep, I'll be on my way to come have a look at it. So uh, this is the helmet. It's a lovely helmet. It's only just got like a little bit of surface rust on here, but not a lot. That can easily be cleaned off. And uh, the cork has been rubbed down. Obviously this was in the, the Vietnam War after the Second World War. And as you can see, there's some white paint there on the back. Now this kind of looks like a, a B underneath maybe numbers. I'm only guessing on that though, I'm not too sure. It does have a little ding there, but you know what? Having dings in a helmet is pretty cool, I think. Any stress cracks looks pretty cool, but there's none in this one. And uh, you can just see the cork there rubbed right down. So you can just see there. There you go, guys, somewhere around there. So this is, uh, this is a nice one, I like this one. And on the front of the helmet as well, it looks like... Uh, I think it looks like a, a B or an 8 or something underneath. I could be wrong. Uh, the strap, well the strap isn't Second World War, That's uh, that could be Korean or Nam issue. And uh, yeah, I really like this one. Now I got this one for uh, 1,500 baht, which I'll put up on the, on the video how much in uh, dollars and UK money. Uh, yeah, I really like this one. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you inside, guys, as well. Okay, this is the helmet liner. Not too bad. As you can see, the eyelet there is uh, blocked up. Uh, well, it's not blocked up actually. This is a, as I say, a tie liner. It looks like Second World War, but it's uh, it's not. But it is old. It's got that very very musty smell of old in it. And it has some rusting on the side there, in the A-frame. So it, that looks pretty cool, that. Nice color. Couple of little scratches on it, no cracks. I quite like that. That was very, very, very cheap. And you can buy them very cheap here in Thailand. Very, very cheap. You got the little nipples on the side there for the, the liner strap that goes over the helmet. Yeah, like that. Okay guys, now what I'll do, I'll bring the helmet out here because it's a bit brighter out here, you know? Because uh, in here it's quite dark. So uh, there's the helmet. I hope you can see it quite clear now. And uh, I'll move it around dead slow because I see people when they show helmets zoom around and you're trying to focus on like the helmet to have a look. So uh, I'll just sit down here. There you go, I've got to be very careful that I don't break the bales on this. Yeah, it's got a little bit of surface rust there, which is nothing. So you can see the little ding there. If you look carefully, it will focus. you just see like the cork has been rubbed down. Yeah, so that's a lovely hum. Good condition as well. As I say, it's uh, the heat stamp is uh, 280A. Now, if I can uh, maybe zoom in here, you might be able to see something there. Because that's upside down. You just see the faint two, and then 80A. Yeah, it's nice. Front seam, pretty good condition inside. Really no rust in there. And the fixed bales, let me just uh, zoom in on the fixed bales here. Gee, where's look at that, guys? Fixed bale. My first one ever in Thailand, because when I was collecting in Europe, in Jersey, Channel Islands, I had quite a lot of fixed bales. Uh, but I thought I'd never find one over here. And there you go. Looks quite nice. So, uh, yeah, uh, I said to myself, this will be the only fixed bale I have. But 
I have another one. I haven't got it yet because uh, the person who's getting the helmets for me is, is keeping all the helmets. I've got a lot of helmets uh, at the moment that I have to save up and buy them. So they're, uh, they're kept to one side for me. And there's another fixed bale that I'll get sometime. So when I get it, I'll show you guys. And because when I go and get it, I'll film me uh, going to the shop as well. Uh, adds a little bit of excitement, you know. So I'll show you guys when I actually first see it. You'll see it on camera as well for the first time in, you'll see it. So that'll be pretty good, exciting, right? So yeah, look at that. Wow. As I say, I just turn it around very slowly. A lot, a lot of people go like this, you know. Uh, I, I, you're trying to focus on the helmet, you can't. So there you go. Lovely helmet. As I say, I get that me metal rescue, and uh, you pour it into like a big tub. You sink the helmet in it. It doesn't affect the paint one bit. All it does, it cleans like the rust off, and you can put your hand in this metal rescue as well. It's that good. It's not strong, and it does the the trick. Gets rid of all that surface rust. Doesn't take any of the paint off. So you can just about see some of the cork there. Yeah. yeah, I like this one. This has got to be my favourite one because the fixed bale. <laughs>